Hi, I'm Sophie and today I'm going to teach you how to do side angle pose. The last few videos that we've done, we've covered triangle pose, sun salutation A and B, and also warrior two and reverse warrior. So this is another common pose, but it's a sort of variation, the same leg position as you get in warrior two and in reverse warrior. So to start our side angle pose, we're going to do the same as in warrior two and reverse warrior. So the right leg's going to step forward, toes point towards the front of the mat. The left leg's going to take a nice big step back. Again, getting your front knee over your ankle, make sure it hasn't rolled in or out, and grounding down the outer edge of the back foot. We're going to prop our right hand down inside of our right foot. Now, to reach the floor, for some people, it may be quite challenging here, in which case, it's quite useful to grab a yoga block, or if you don't have one, you can grab a book like I've got, and just pop your hand down onto the block, coming either onto the fingertips, it feels comfortable for you, perhaps taking the palm flat. And you're going to press your right shoulder into the inside of your right knee and then take your left hand up towards the sky. So this is your side angle pose. The common problems here are that the right knee tends to collapse in. So what you want to do is really press your right shoulder into the inside of the right knee, getting a nice stretch down the inside of the right thigh. Really pull the left shoulder back, reach the left hand up towards the sky as you tuck your right hip under you and then peel the left hip back, peel the top edge of the rib cage back, again spinning the heart up as much as you can. And then ground down through the outer edge of the back foot again, lifting up through the inner arch and pressing down through the big toe of the front foot. You can breathe here for three to five breaths. It will come out in a number of ways. So one look down at the floor, perhaps taking the left hand down coming out like this, or more commonly, coming back up through warrior two, looking around down towards the big toe, and then coming all the way back up. Maybe coming to triangle, maybe coming through a vinyasa, many options from here. So now I'm gonna show you how to go from a vinyasa, maybe again from warrior two, as we were doing in the last sequence, and come through your side angle pose. So you're gonna start again, standing at the front of your mat, toes together, heels together. Then inhale, hands high, look up towards the sky. Exhale as you fold forwards, drawing in through the belly, hinging at the hips. Inhale, look up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, step or hop back to high plank position. Coming down through Chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. So we're gonna come through warrior two. So inhale your right foot up high to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot through between the hands into a lunge. Then inhale, come all the way up, open wide to warrior two. And to take our side angle pose, we can place our right hand down inside the right foot, either palm is flat on the fingertips, or maybe using your block. And then taking your left hand up towards the sky, pulling the left shoulder back as you tuck your right hip underneath you, trying to bring the top edge of the rib cage away from the thigh rather than collapsing down onto it. And breathing here again, three, two, and one, then look back down at your big toe, inhale, come all the way up to warrior two, and then spin the hands over the head and down to the mat, set the right foot back to downward facing dog, roll forwards to high plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. So to do the left side, inhale, left foot high to the sky. Exhale, set the left foot through to a runner's lunge. And then inhale, come all the way up, open wide, warrior two. And then taking your left hand down inside your left foot. Right hand comes up high to the sky. Feel side angle pose again. So again, that left hip tucks under, right hip peels open. Left shoulder presses into the inside of the left knee, giving a nice stretch down the inside of the left thigh grounding through the front big toe and when you've done three to five breaths look down towards your front big toe and then inhale come all the way back up warrior two spin the hands over the head and down to the mat set the left foot back to the downward facing dog roll forwards to high plank chaturanga up dog and down dog breathing here in your down dog for three to five breaths your three to five, bend the knees, and step or jump your feet up behind the hands, inhale, look up, lengthen, exhale as you fold, 
Inhale, sweep the arms wide, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So that is how to transition through a vinyasa, doing side angle pose and warrior two. today and learning how to do side angle pose. I hope you found the lesson useful and you can start to thread it into the other sequences that we've been practicing. Thank you so much for those of you that have commented below. If you would like to leave a new comment, please do so. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do that above. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.